Hello students, so let's try to solve one more problem from TIFR 2024. It's a very simple, very nice problem. So there is a disk, it is given that some uniform disk is there, which radius is R. There is some horizontal force is acting on this particular disk. So what will be the speed after time t? You have to calculate what is the speed after time t. And it is also given the disk is uh, just uh, having at t is equal to 0, rolling without slipping condition. So, this is one of the very interesting problem and we have to go for concept by concept. So, let us try to go for this one. So, when we are going to solve it, we will just find the angular momentum about uh, some interesting point and then we can easily solve it. So, what we have, we have a one particular disk, there is some force F is there and T is equal to 0, this point F0 velocity, why it is just uh, having a rolling without slipping condition. What is meaning of rolling without slipping? Rolling without slipping means you can have a pure rotation about point of contact, this is the main thing. So, what we will do? We will just try to find the angular momentum about point of contact O and that value is equal to I O into omega. And what will be this uh, the moment of inertia? So, moment of inertia about center of mass is m r square by 2. So, this is m r square by 2. This is moment of inertia about center of mass and moment of inertia about point O. We have to just go for m and here is small m. So, we have to just go for small m. So, that value is m r square by 2 plus m r square and here is your omega. So, this is your angular momentum. So, this L is basically 3 by 2 m r square omega and now we can easily find the torque about this particular point. We can find the torque about this one. So, what is torque? Torque is nothing but dl upon dt. So, once we will find this torque, this value is equal to 3 by 2 m r square d omega upon d. And this is my external torque. And what will happen? This torque is equal to 3 by 2 m r square d omega upon dt is equal to nothing but alpha that is angular uh, acceleration. And hence it is rolling without slipping then alpha is equal to identified as A by R. So, what is your torque? Your torque is equal to 3 by 2 m R square and that value is A by R. And this torque is equivalent to, this torque is generated due to this particular force. So, what is this particular force is F and torque, and this is your the perpendicular distance. So, F into H is equal to 3 by 2 m r square a by r and here we can get the value of a and what is value of a is equal to 2 by 3 and m r is there and we have f x. So, this is my acceleration and if this is my initial acceleration or this acceleration will be always remain constant, this is constant acceleration. So, after time t the velocity v is equal to v is equal to a into t. So, this velocity is equal to 2 by 3 f x t by m r. So, this will be your answer. So, you can just go for option number 1 which is your option. So, it is a very interesting, very simple problem. Only one thing is there, what is meaning of rolling without slipping? Once you are talking about rolling without slipping, the point of contact is at rest. This is the actual concept in this particular problem and otherwise you can easily solve this type of problem.